Hello everyone! I'm here in the living room having a look at my house plants. I think during these really cold months of January and February when the garden's looking a bit gloomy and wet outside, it's quite nice to be indoors and to spend a bit more time looking after my house plants. And this one here we're looking at right now is the asparagus fern. He's one of my favorites during, this, during the winter because he just looks so springy and beautiful, wispy. I just love his appearance. He is related to the regular edible asparagus, but it's just one that's really popular at the moment as a house plant. I think just because he looks so cute. I've seen lots of people grow them in terrariums and he does really like a moist environment, a warm, moist environment. So he would be perfect for a terrarium. And I also think he kind of looks a little bit like a bonsai, you know, that sort of really cute, super delicate as well. So yeah, he'd be perfect for that sort of little glass house. But um, yeah, he also does well here. Um, I do tend to try to spritz him every so often with some rain water, just like most of my houseplants actually like that. It sort of washes away any buildup of dust, which can happen in a home, and also gives them a little bit of almost like dew-like water and keeps their foliage nice and moist. So I do tend to give him that every so often. Um, they also suggest that you can put him, like put some pebbles in between the decorative part and the regular pot here because that could sort of add a bit more of a moist environment to his soil as well. During the winter they want to be kept on the dry side so I tend to water him every two weeks and just let him really dry out well in between waterings but during the summer he like other ferns wants to be kept um, more moist. Now when I say other ferns that's a bit misleading because he is not actually related to ferns at all. I think the reason that you have fern in that popular name, the asparagus fern, is because of his sort of fronds he has here. It looks a lot like a fern but yeah as I said he's not a fern at all. He just could look a bit like one. But just a really beautiful, happy, easy to keep plant as well. I'll just show you a bit closer so you can actually see his really delicate wonderful foliage there and because he just loves this sort of really warm moist environment um, he, he wants temperatures between 10 degrees celsius and about 25 degrees celsius so not super hot like in the summer i put him somewhere shaded um, but i keep him inside obviously during the winter and um, but because he, he loves the sort of moisture in the air, he'd be a great plant to keep in a really nice, well-lit bathroom, like a bright bathroom. He loves indirect sunlight, so he's really like most of the house plants I've got here. They just love indirect sunlight and then just being kept dry during the winter and then moist during the summer. So I just thought I'd share that with you. I hope you find it interesting and I'll speak to you next time. Um, love to hear from you in the comments if you have one of these or if you're thinking about growing one. It's definitely a wonderful plant to have during the winter, I feel. I'll see you next time. Until then, happy gardening!